So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. In today's video, we are going to be doing a what if, and we're going to be seeing what if the top three prospects from the 2019 draft class all ended up on the same team somehow. Obviously, there is about a negative percentage chance of this ever happening. It's just a fun what if. I saw a comment of it a couple weeks ago. Thought it would be fun to do. Decided to do it with the Knicks because they were the worst team in the NBA last year in New York, big market. I don't know. The team really doesn't matter. Uh, so that being obvious, if you couldn't tell, Zion Williamson. Ja Morant and RJ Barrett going to see what happens if all of them somehow end up on the Knicks. I'm obviously going to have to use trade override. Um, this is just a what if, so I don't really want to hear it in the comments section. This you're cheating. I I, I understand that concept. Um, it's it's a what if, but um, we're looking pretty good uh, for the moment. We're going to get a pretty good staff here. We are, of course, the Knicks. Um, you know what? I have the money. I'm the New York Knicks. I'm going to get Popovich. Not that this would probably be a team that he. Oh, Popovich doesn't want to come here. Okay. Uh, I was just going to say, not that this would probably want to be a team that he coaches because they're all young, not a lot of foreign players, and yeah, you know what I mean. So we end up with the second overall pick. I'm going to put on trade override, pretty much steal the picks from whoever has one and three, uh, and then we'll be all set there. So I'm going to do that, draft those three guys, and I will see you guys at rookie signings. So we got these three on the team, uh, picks one, two, and three, Zion, Morant, and Barrett, pretty much the way it's going to go in real life, I'm pretty sure. Team player options. Now this is pretty much just a normal Knicks rebuild. We're just going to be building around these guys. I don't think I've done a Knicks rebuild in a minute. I think actually, actually I have my channel pulled up. When was the last time I did a Knicks rebuild? I'm actually interested in this because I probably could have put it on another team. But uh, I did a Knicks re rebuild about two weeks ago. This is an R.J. Barrett one. That was right after the draft lottery. But I don't know. I think this will be fun. So Dennis Smith Jr. can obviously go now. Uh, he, <clears throat> he's not going to be needed as uh, John Morant's going to be our point guard for this whole video. Uh, also, they're all going to start for the whole video. Zion probably at power forward. RJ, they're at shooting guard, small forward, and jaw, obviously, at the point guard position. So, let's see what we can do here. Um, Mo Bamba's here. <clears throat> Man's got a hose. Um, do I need anything? You know what? I might just take him. I kind of want to go youth movement here. Like, I don't really want to go after guys I get a ton. Let's pick up Mo Bamba. He's going to be our center. I know Mitchell Robinson's obviously kind of coming into his own element, but he can come off the bench. I don't even have to trade for Mitchell Robinson, which I know all you do like. All you know that I like to do a lot. Uh, Kevin Knox, I wouldn't also mind starting. So is, okay, RJ Barrett is listed as a shooting guard right now. I think this is honestly going to be the rotation year number one. And then Knox starting at the small forward position. Uh, remember when he just kind of had an unbelievable summer league last year? And then just everybody thought he was going to be absolutely insane. I mean, don't get me wrong. He still could very well turn into a very good player. But I just, I don't know. I, I, don't, I think he was a little bit overhyped. But we'll see how that ends up going. Billy Garnett and John Jenkins. <clears throat> Goodbye. Uh, also, this is, I hope you guys agree, this is like one of my favorite times of the year, like right before the draft, right as the free agency rumors start coming. I've made peace with Kyrie no longer going to be a Celtic. I've made peace with it. Um, I know the rumors are still floating out there. The Celtics might try to do something stupid and trade for Anthony Davis. I don't know how I feel about that. It'll be interesting, though. Uh, do I want to keep Alonzo Trier or Damon Dotson? Uh, Dotson, 10 points. Okay, what's the contract looking like, though? One year and then one year. So I guess it's kind of a toss-up. I mean, what did he put up? Um, 10 points per 36-17, per 36-14. All right, I'll just move Dotson. Neil Aquina and uh, Dotson, let's just see what we need here. Uh, it's probably not much. Uh, um, whatever the hell his name is, also two years younger. Ooh, John Collins. Miles Bridges and Malik Monk. You know, let's pick up two backups. That I mean, we're kind of going youth movement here, and I really honestly am enjoying it, so... Um, let me just get through qualifying offers. Moody ain't no thank you. Luke Cornett, no thank you as well. Uh, and now let's see how this team's looking. So we've won. Oh, I forgot we had. Okay, I literally just traded a shooting guard. Okay. Um, so I think I'm only going to go nine-man rotation still. Um, I actually could start Miles Bridges over him. So I think I'm going to trade now. Actually, I really want to use Malik Monk. So I think I am going to trade Alonzo Trier for a backup point guard. And then this team is technically all set. Like... It, it really is. Um, I don't know how we're going to do next year, honestly, so I'm not going to trade my first-round pick next year, but by 2021, we'll be good. So I can go ahead and move this, uh, not having to worry too much. And I'm just going to go after shooting, or point guard, excuse me. See some options here, not seeing many, uh, unfortunately. I mean, Chris Dunn. You know, we also get a 2020 Bulls pick next year, top five protected, which looks like it could have some value. So we can live with Chris Dunn for a year. He's not even going to be playing that many minutes anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The team's all set, and we haven't even gone into free agency yet. So I think I'm going to leave it. I honestly don't think I'm going to touch it. We definitely have a we have a lot of cap space, but um, I don't plan on really signing anybody else. I'm just going to kind of let all these guys walk. And, yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of season number one with the rotation. So year number one, this is what the rotation is going to look like. John Morant, R.J. Barrett, hopefully our backcourt for this whole video. I mean, they will be. I'm not really going to 
change any of it, but maybe they could come off the bench, but probably not. I do want to start Kevin Knox. Uh, he will be our starting small forward, then Zion Williamson getting 36 minutes a night, and then Mo Bamba. So we've got to work on the shooting in the front court maybe at some point. I don't really see that changing, though. I'm not moving Zion and... I don't know. It all depends on how Mo Bama progresses. Off the bench, we do got Mitchell Robinson, Miles Bridges, Chris Dunn, and Malik Monk. So I'm a pretty big fan of this team. Honestly, youth movement. Hopefully it works out, and I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. So it was a really good first year. 54-28. and 28. Giannis does take home the MVP award. Zion, I mean, it was going to be one of the three, uh, does win rookie of the year for us. Ibaka, Giannis, Bagley, and Boldenhoser takes home coach of the year. So we finished as a four seed. Wow, okay. The Eastern Conference is actually pretty good this year. Uh, also, if you didn't know, Raptors did win the championship in the Sim and I'm actually, it's insane that they're one game away now from winning the championship. I mean, absolutely nuts. Thank God we finally got a real finals matchup because it's been it's been a minute. But I'm honestly so happy for them. I'm praying Kawhi stays in Toronto. I really want him to. I feel like Toronto just deserves it in general. And I, it would just be weird to win a championship, have Kawhi leave, means they're probably blowing up their whole team and going rebuild mode and very well could have a top five pick in next year's draft. Like, that just could be weird to me. But I don't know. Uh, we got to get through the finals first. I mean, it's a 3-1 lead. Nothing's actually safe when it comes to the NBA. Um, but I do expect them to win either probably just in game five at home. Honestly, that's what I would say. I think it's either going to be five at home or seven at home. I don't really think they're going to go back to Oracle and win it. But I also didn't think they'd win two at Oracle when they went this time. So who knows? Uh, back to this, though. We're up 3-1 in the Eastern Conference Finals, and we win in five. And it's going to be us and the eight-seeded Pelicans? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm dyslexic, so... Interesting. Um, I definitely didn't think we'd make a championship this first year. I definitely also didn't think we'd be favored and have home court advantage, but thanks for coming. Zion Finals MVP. Oh, I mean, we kind of got blessed with the matchup there, but I, I guess, you know what, it works out for the best. So uh, up to staff signing right now, uh, Malone, and then Scout, I'll just take Stewart, and then you're still an A, right, Martin? So our staff is good. Let's head up to the draft. Uh, I don't think we should have any picks, really. Yeah, we have 13 and 30. Um, I'm probably not going to really use any of these, so I can maybe move them for, yeah, two future firsts from the Hawks. That's uh, more than okay with me. I don't know. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But also, this could get pretty boring if I don't make a single move at any point. Uh, all of you are coming back. I mean, qualifying Chris Dunn, sure. I might try to swap out that backup point guard position. I'm interested, though. I'm very, very interested. Uh, really, the only position, I mean, I'm going to actually make an offer to Ben Simmons. Just see if he accepts it. It'd be interesting. I mean, it looks like he's going to sign here. I'm going to give it a 99% chance that the, it's going to get matched by the um, do 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 76. Yeah, I, I thought so. Uh, it would have been interesting, though. Um, so what else do I want to do? I mean, there's not much for me to do here. Like an Al Horford is a guy I really never get a lot. Could be my new back. Could be a backup center, I guess. I have Mitchell Robinson, though. I don't really know, uh, to be totally honest. You know what? I could go after Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram, you want to come here and be my new small forward? Cool. Brandon Ingram, welcome to New York. Um, I'm honestly just going to swap him out with um, Kevin Knox. Knox will move to my backup, and then I think I'm actually going to package Dunn and Bridges for a new backup point guard. So let's try to do that. Uh, I do want to see if Ingram can do something well. I mean, I never really get him in these videos, so why not? i got to spend money at some point. And now let's go ahead and trade Miles, Bridges, Chris Dunn, and we'll do, um, we'll do a Hawks first in 2022. And we can go ahead and glance at other backup point guards, just see what sort of options we have there. I'm sure it's nothing to make. Oh, do we bring him back? No. Uh, Chance in hell. Dinwiddie very well could be an option for me. Uh, together, they're making like 9 mil, but we could also take in more than 9 mil. So let's just, let's just look. I obviously don't want anybody that's going to start over <clears throat> uh, John Morant. Jamal Murray could be interesting. Collison, yeah. Um, Deontay Murray, if you wanted to come here, uh, if I were to give you Miles Bridges, and I'll also throw you Chris Dunn. All right. I, I really like Deontay Murray. I mean, I think he's an upgrade over Chris Dunn, ultimately. And we're sitting pretty. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two of the rotation. So season number two, this is going to be the rotation. John Morant, RJ Barrett, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and then Mo Bamba. Off the bench, Deontay Murray, Kevin Knox, Mitchell Robinson, and Malik Monk. Um, I think Mo Bamba definitely could be an option for a different player next year at the center position. See if we can maybe package a ton of assets and maybe go after Rudy Gobert, something like that, and Andre Drummond. So I think we're looking pretty good for now. Hopefully this team can win another championship, potentially three-peat. I'll see you guys at the end of the second season. So Zion ended up winning MVP. Um, I think this little experiment's working out. 65-17 and 17 for us. James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year, Enos Kanner, Anthony Davis, Deion Waiters. Hmm, interesting. Stafford does get Coach of the Year. So I think, I don't know. I honestly didn't think this would be like this good. I didn't really think the team was that good, but... 
Uh, it's fun. Zion MVP, RJ Barrett balling out John Morant. Brandon Ingram, Murray, Mo Bamba. Uh, I definitely do want to try to improve that. I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting, like, stats-wise to improve. Maybe just overall. Uh, just because I don't want to leave the team the same way for the whole video. There's not really much fun there. I'm kind of just simming at that point. So, uh, we quickly go up 3-0 on the Atlanta Hawks, and we end up sweeping them. And it's going to be us and the Detroit Pistons here in round number two. Um, let's go ahead. Also, I'm trying to find, like, rebuilds I can do of other teams. Because, like, there's only really rumors around, like, so many teams. So, like, if you have any, like, free agency rumors trade rumors just give me something just because like i feel like i'm always doing like the top five teams in the nba draft rebuilds around them and then like the anthony davis rumors the and we, you know what i mean pretty much so um just any other team we've swapped our way to the nba finals so far we're taking on the timberwolves let's see if they added anybody really big or they just um theo malden but that's that's about it so we should, probably should sweep them i'm assuming we're going to make it to the finals next year so i'm really not going to hop into a game right now um, but we're balling out. We're, we're, we're looking really, really solid right now. A lot better than I thought we would be. Uh, assistant GM. I don't know why it lets you, like, first of all, that's annoying that it... Why do I need to, like, sign... Like, why do I, on the world would I sign a GM? Like, I get for make maybe, like, my GM? Maybe? I don't know. Do you sign a GM for my GM? I feel like you'd be the GM for my GM. I don't know why it's an option. Like, I'm kind of running this, but I don't know. Um, we have the sixth overall pick from the Ma Mavericks. Uh, two seconds. I'm just going to trade for two future seconds. Uh, I believe Mo Bamba, is he on a team option? Yes, he is. Um, how about Ingram in six? Could I just look at offers? Levine would be interesting. Actually, 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 I might take Zach Levine. You know what? Jalen Brown's interesting as well. But, you know, I'm going to take Zach Levine. We're also going to get Otto Porter, who I'll get, I'm not really going to use just because I, I have a backup small forward. <clears throat> um... Actually, do I have a backup small forward? Who's my backup? Oh, it's Kevin Knox. Yeah. I don't really need Otto Porter on this team. It, it, I think he's actually a little bit better than people normally give him credit for, and that's coming from me, who literally thinks everybody is overpaid. Um, so, oh, we can get Jamal Murray. Who was my backup point guard this year? It was, yeah, it was Deontay Murray. Um, I'm just going to take two firsts from the Wizards, honestly. I know it's kind of the boring option, but I don't know. I feel like I don't really need any other, other, uh, any other players. So nobody here at Rookie Signings. Um, we really have negative 51 mil in cap room. Uh, team player options, yeah, you're all coming back. Thank God. That's uh, going to be pretty nice. They're all making a little bit more money, though, uh, now. And then, so Bomba definitely could be in some of these offers, though. Malik Monk, I would also like to bring back as a backup shooting guard. Um, so let's see. Basically, what I'm going to do here, it's not going to be that challenging. I'm just going to move RJ Barrett to small forward. Levine's going to start at small forward. It's or shooting guard. It's a pretty simple concept. Bomba, Bomba, Bomba. And how about. Let's see. Let's see. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Um, Knicks first and Thunder first. Actually, you know what? We're going to do Wizards and Thunder. Yeah. Well, Wizards pick a lot more value than mine will after winning two straight championships. Uh, pretty sure about that one anyways. So let's see what sort of options we have here at the center position. I'm not going to get Harrell. I just get him way too much. Evan Mobley, Wendell Carter Jr. All right. Um, let's see. Center-wise... Um, like Carl Anthony Towns is just probably not happening, right? Also, money wise, just wouldn't work. I mean, eh, it'd be interesting. Uh, but I did just have Carl Anthony Towns in a video the other day. Is DeAndre Aiden untouchable? I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume he is. Yeah, he's untouchable. Um, Cousins, not really. Vucevic, Drummond, Capella could go Nurkic as well. Uh, Nurkic isn't a guy I get a lot for Mo Bamba. They want Deontay Murray for killing. That's just not going to happen. You can just take the firsts. I don't really need first round picks. Just take them. Just just take as many as you want. Yeah, cool. Use of Nurkic. Welcome to New York. Again, not a guy I get a ton. So I think we do just need to re-sign Malik Monk. And this team will be all set. Uh, Malik Monk doesn't want a ton of money. It's probably what? I don't even know how much per year. But I'm feeling pretty good about this team. I still don't think we have cap space. Uh, I'll double check just to see after this. Just an interesting concept. Um, yeah, no, we really only have like 10 mil. Uh, probably plus a mid-level exception, but we don't really need anybody. We we really don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I wouldn't mind. Like I would, I do want Malik Monk, but depending on seeing if I can get some sort of upgrade. I mean, he's a 79 overall, but he's probably only going to play 10 minutes a night. But it's interesting. We've had him for the whole video. I like to trade people. You guys know that. So let's see, sort of what sort of options we have here. Um, 
and it's not really looking like it's going to be anybody that's going to be that much of an upgrade if an upgrade at all so we're going to roll with them and i'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year so third and final season this is what the rotation is going to be looking like john morant zach levine rj barrett zion williamson and then yusuf nurkic off the bench deontay murray kevin knox mitchell robinson and Malik Monk. Really excited to see how this team can do. Hopefully three-peat, and I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. This uh, was a pretty good year. 73-9, Zion, second straight MVP. Uh, can't complain, Jalen Johnson. Deontay Murray actually wins six-man. Anthony Davis, LaMelo Ball, and Mike Stauffer, coach of the year for, I believe, the second season in a row. So, on the year, best record in the NBA. Probably wasn't really that close. Players that Zion, RJ, Levine, Morant, Nurkic. Not, I mean, this team came out really, really solid. Like, we did a lot better than I thought we would. Um, I also tried to get a lot of guys I don't get a lot because I know that kind of gets boring. I mean, it's boring for me, too. It's not just boring for you guys to watch. Uh, but we're up 2-1 right now against the Hornets. 2-2. Okay, so we got a little bit of a series here in the first round. Uh, we do end up winning in six, though. Us in Philadelphia here in round number two. Milwaukee and Brooklyn over there in the bottom of the Eastern Conference. And it looks like we're going to yeah sweep the Philadelphia 76ers. We're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Buck. Houston Golden State over there in the West. I think, honestly, this is a pretty good matchup. Uh, Giannis, I mean, I always say, like, there's nobody on my team that can cover him. There's really, like, one guy and maybe two in the NBA that can cover him. I think Kawhi Leonard's obviously one of them. I don't really know about the rest of the, the league, though. Uh, but we're up 2-0 on the Rockets here, 2-1, 3-1. Uh, and then if this game is close, of course, I will hop in and get some gameplay, try to close this one out here in New York. And it looks like it's actually going to come down to it a little bit. Um, yeah, no, this game's not going to be a win. Uh, so 3-2 now. Uh, back in Houston. Um, I would like to win a third championship. Hopefully it's close enough where I can hop in. I'll try to do some work. I'll see you guys in the game. So normally when I'm hopping into these games, um, I really, okay, I don't know what this line, Kevin Knox shouldn't be in right now. And that's just blatant. John Morant right into RJ Barrett. And he's going to go up for the slam. Uh, but normally when I do hop into games here in these rebuilds, I'm normally either winning by a lot or like winning by a little bit like normally i'm not losing so i'm trying to do something here i kind of want rj barrett on james harden i feel like wow that just didn't work all right i'm gonna take a timeout. i need zion williamson in the game that's um pretty important i would have to say it's back to a five point lead here for houston in game six uh, i just want my starters in just my starters are they've led me here so far they're gonna lead me to the promised land so we are looking good all right john morant's got 15 points in the night Harden's got 33. He's uh, he's pretty good at what he does. I really wish he was, he, I was able to trade for some of these guys. All right, Zion into John Morant. Let's just call for the ISO and then pick and roll. Chris Paul is about 39 years old at this point, so I don't really think he's going to be doing anything too impressive. Come on, Zion. Give me a good pick and roll down right to Zion Williamson. Not a foul. Good put back by Ja Morant, keeping it close with a three-point game. I don't really know how he got that. Looks like Harden was actually boxing out Capella a little bit, so... Um, is there any way actually for me, you know what I want to do? I want to change the matchups here. Um, I want Harden covered by Barrett and then we'll go Levine on green and then, you know, we'll just do the whole thing. Williamson on Jeremy Grant and then Capella can be by Nurkic. Okay. That's what I want. Um, I think that would be the smartest option because I think RJ Barrett's definitely a little bit of a de better defensive player than Zach Levine, who is not really known for his defense. Good block. Good block by Nurkic. Run it up, Levine. Uh, back to Zion. I wish I had to go to Zion there. All right. Zion, I'm just going to call for the ISO, and then we're going to go for the pick, and then I'm just going to go full on. Come on, come on, come on. Zion Williamson up with the slam. One point game, baby. Here we go. Man, it's just out muscling everybody, taking it right to the rack, and that's what I ultimately need. That's great defense. There's no way. Okay. I was going to say, there's no way that goes in. Zion, run the floor, push it up to John Morant, right back to Zion. All right, let's just reset, 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 reset. John Morant into Nurkic, right into Zion. Oh, what? The oh, got tipped. I was like, what in the world? I was trying to pass it right into Zion. He was cutting back door. <clears throat> I also do want to use RJ Barrett a little bit, but ultimately first goal is to win the game. Um, let's go. Pick, and then come on, come here, RJ Barrett. Clock's obviously an issue. RJ Barrett mill go up for the putback. Zion gonna get the rebound. Gonna go right back up with the board and give us our first lead of me being in this game. And let's try to close this out and win a championship. Zion's got 27, 12, and 4 on the night. Not too bad. Um, is that like Yao Ming walking in? Who the hell is that? Um, all right. I'm not playing user defense on Harden. I like that Barrett's on him now. I that's definitely a better matchup for me. Um, I think we're good. We're looking, we're still, we're still okay. Oh my god, good steal. Zion, or RJ Barrett. 
up to John ja Morant. He's going to get the layup to go. Three-point game, 104 left in this one. We're looking good. We're, we're looking good right now. RJ, if we can just keep locking down Harden. We've been doing well so far. Come on. They're going to give it a Chris Paul underneath. to. Oh, good block by Zion. Is that on Jeremy Grant? Up to Barrett. Three-pointer. Bang. Let's go, baby. I'll see you guys with the finals MVP. So I'm going to guess that Zion won a finals MVP. And yes, he did. Uh, that was quite the stretch of gameplay that I've had. I've gotten a lot better at this game uh, since I've been hopping into games more often. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. If you didn't know what this was or couldn't figure it out, it was... I uh, did what if the top three prospects from the 2019 draft class are all on the same team. I'm not going to word it like that just because that's a lot. But uh, any other video ideas, any other fun what if scenarios like this, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Almost at 22K. I cannot thank you guys all enough. Also, go follow me on Twitter if you do not. Link is always in the description. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.